So what we've done is we've created a couple zones here. Let's go ahead, let's tie this one all together. Let's make it really simple. Some of them make sense, some of them don't in a design, and we could modify these heads, but we're not gonna do that right now. What we can do now is we obviously need a valve. So let's get a couple valves. We have a one inch PGV valve ready to go. We can drop these valves in. You'll notice that as we start dropping these valves in, these open-ended pipes, it calculates out where we need to go. It's taking all of our pressure loss, friction loss, calculating all our gallons per minute, and we're good. Now we have to tie these to something. We're gonna need a main line. So let's go ahead, let's just drop a main line out here. We'll run a little tails off of each one of these, and then we're gonna connect our main line to these. They auto connect. This is fantastic, it works great. But the one thing that you will notice is now our main line tells us it's one inch pipe. Well, we know better than that because we're not gonna be able to feed one inch pipe with one gallon per minute. We're only calculating to the valve, but the main line now is looking for another connection. And we need to put in our main connection here, our pressure vacuum brake or our point of connection. That is the point of connection tool. So we can come in here, drop down a point of connection tool, and you'll notice everything changes because now it understands. So we can see now we are designed at 68.96 PSI with 75.8 gallons per minute. In this system, if we then needed to understand what we needed to do, we can say we are gonna need a two and a half inch or three inch feeder line coming to our point of connection. And if that's possible to do in a new building as we're designing this, great. If it is not, now we can come in and we can start redesigning and setting the values of all of these nozzles to bring these down to work. Now, the one thing I wanna show you too is we know that this zone is quite large. This is 78 or 75.8 gallons per minute. That was a one inch ball valve, or uh, uh, I'm sorry, a one inch uh, globe valve. I know that's not gonna work. And by clicking that, you'll see the little warning. And you'll notice right away that it's telling you it doesn't work. On top of that, in your object information, it also tells you it exceeds max catalog flow. So it's telling you as you go what works and what doesn't. It's a nice extra safety precaution from saying, we've specified all of this in. This allows me now to go ahead and redesign based on what my requirements are. I either downsize or increase the valve size. So we can see the piping, we can see what we have. Works perfect, that works well. We can do this with sprays, we can intermix sprays and rotors, and we can do our coverage very well.